In what year does My Life as a Teenage Robot take place? It's been nine years since the last episode of My Life as a Teenage Robot aired, but the fan base is still alive and as obsessed as ever. We all have questions about the show that we would like answered, but not all of them have been answered yet. A question that I've personally pondered for a few months now is what exact year My Life as a Teenage Robot is set in. On September 19th, 2018, Rob Renzetti, the creator of this series, seems to have answered this question. Well, kind of. A fan by the name of Dylan Wright tweeted at Rob wondering the same thing. He was curious about whether or not the reference to the 100th Super Bowl was a hint at when the show takes place. Remember that one hit wonder from six years ago? Hardly. I was only built five years ago. That's right. I forgot, you're only five years old. Wow. So you don't remember the blizzard of 24? Nope. Or the Alpha Centauri landing? Nope. A five-year-old? A five-year-old in high school? Nope. Anaconda to HQ. Anaconda to HQ. We have a code Omega. Repeat, code Omega. Super Bowl 100? Nope. Neptune Olympics? Nope. If Dylan was right, the show would be set in 2066. Renzetti was quick to debunk this theory, saying that the Super Bowl reference was just a quick gag and that it has no significance to the timeline in the series. He did, however, state that, quote, MLAATR takes place in the future as the future was imagined to be in the 1930s, end quote. This explains his choice of using Art Deco as the art style for the series, which is what truly made the series stand out to most people. So the question is answered. Renzetti confirmed it himself. Well, I'd like a more accurate answer. Rob basically said that the show takes place at any point after the 1930s. And well, it'd be a way different show if it was set in the 40s, with Sheldon being conscribed to fight at Normandy. But then again, Renzetti said that it's an alternative timeline. So in order to get a good idea of what year the show is set in, we need to think like someone from the 1930s. This really creepy video taught me that the 1930s view of clothing in the year 2000 is absolutely different than what is actually seen in My Life as a Teenage Robot. And that's honestly for the best. All the clothing in My Life as a Teenage Robot looks really similar to the clothes worn around the early 2000s, the half decade which the series premiered in. In some cases, the buildings seen in the background of My Life as a Teenage Robot remind me of those seen in the 1927 film Metropolis, and I highly doubt that's a coincidence. It's not hard to tell that Renzetti did his research when he created this show. Metropolis is also set in the year 2000, so it's becoming very clear to me that My Life as a Teenage Robot is simply set in an alternative, futuristic version of the early 2000s, specifically 2003 to 2005. I mean, it's kind of obvious that it's set around this time since there's an episode where Jenny steals a music, which is basically an iPod, which looks like it's from the Jetsons. It doesn't get any more alternative 2003 than that. Anyways, do you agree with this assumption? Maybe you disagree. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment your theory in the comments below. See you in another two years. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.